Mary, you have uh, the lovely Nicole Dyer with you. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning. We are fine and welcome to the TTT. Thank you and congratulations. TTT. Congratulations <laughs> for the energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Carrie, it's all yours. Oh, thank you, Lisa. So this morning I am here with um, Mrs. Nicole Dyer Griffith, who is a mass curator and spokesperson for the K2K band. And we're going to talk about that a little bit this morning. So could you tell me a little bit about K2K, what's it, what it's all about? Mm -hmm. um, well, Carrie, is it? Carrie, Carrie, yes. <laughs> Um, K2K is uh, one of the carnival bands in Trinidad and Tobago that really pushes the button as it, it, it pertains to what you can expect from a carnival band. You see, when you look at the history of carnival and the history of mass as it right. pertains, we have seen that it, goes, it went from telling a story to telling less and less of a story and right. less and less fabric and clothes and right, so on. Right, and more so for being a exactly. and jam thing. Well, yeah. you know, amongst other things. <laughs> so for those of us who wanted more as it pertains to wanting to be part of an experience rather right. than just playing mass or jumping on the streets, um, K2K came onto the scene. And one of the things that really underscores the ethos of K2K is that they have created a formula where you can combine fashion and mass. And so utilizing that formula of fashion and mass, it also gives you the opportunity of having a 365 day concept right. where you can utilize this art because it's wearable art, essentially, yes. what um, the K2K brand brings to the fore. So that this year, the theme for the band is through stained glass window. Now, Carrie, when I saw the first image that was released, I think two weeks ago, that was taken by Gary Jordan, the picture of the section called Sparrow, I believe, I was taken aback because every time you see the pieces coming out of the designs by Karen and Kathy Norman, who are the designers for the K2K brand, you really think that they cannot outdo themselves. But this time, through stained glass window, the ethos, the concept, the creativity all comes together so beautifully. And if I may just continue as to what is the background of, of this concept through stained glass window? You see, when you look at what is currently taking place on the global landscape, and you just look at, well, you can look at right. CNN, you can look at, at TTT or anything <laughs> else yes. now, and you see the, the, the push towards anti-globalization, you see segregation, you see segmentation, right. and everything that's just negative that's currently pervading our space. Um, I think that what they are trying to do is to re-infuse something, an opiate that we can hold on to, and we can continue to have love faith, yeah, hope, light, and joy. Exactly. things about uh, positive existence, things. you know, exactly. so to say. Exactly. Exactly. So that is why what they have done is uh, the theme through the stained glass, they have utilized the St. Francis of Assisi peace prayer. Right. And in that prayer, you'd find that they have utilized those segments to create the segments of the band because they are trying to encourage us to remember that the opiate we have to hold on to is prayer. Right. And so that is where the link between St. Francis see. of Assisi Peace Prayer and the sections, because there are five sections for this year's um, band, and the sections are love, amare, in Latin. Now, I'm not going to try to pronounce <laughs> the Latin for each one of these sections, so I'll just say love, yes. faith, hope, light, and joy. And you can always look up the look Latin meaning Latin of each one of them, because they have yes. identified them in utilizing the Latin terminology, so that those are the five sections for this year. Okay, excellent. And um, how long has K2K been around? The sisters have been producing pieces, I think, for in and around five or six years. And each one of those years, the majority of those years, they have one medium band of the year. Okay. So that they have set the bar very high in terms of where they have placed the creativity and the works of art. And they continue to meet that bar. And I can assure you that this year will be no, or next year, um, will be no different. Excellent. Um, I actually caught a glimpse of one of the costumes on um, a post on Instagram from mm -hmm. one, of my, um, one of the people I follow. And so one of the costumes, and you know, it's just as you were saying, it's, um, it fuses fashion yeah, with, with mass and yes, art and yes. everything. And, you know, I could see this on a runway in mm -hmm, Milano mm -hmm. or something that, like that. that. I think that would be Sparrow, the one that was utilized as the PR yes. image. As a matter of fact, when you said that you can utilize it, uh, a couple of years ago I was in Egypt and I was doing some promo work across there and I utilized one of their Monday wear pieces and it created... I mean, people tend to ask, people across in Egypt and, and in those continents, they do not necessarily know about much about the Caribbean. You know, many of them will say, where are you from? Where is, is that a place? <laughs> um, so that I wore one of their pieces, and the amazing impact that you had from wearing something that looked uniquely Caribbean, but yet still there was a theme behind it, and it, it was so positive. So that, And I will be going to New York to something from the Fashion Institute, and I will be also wearing one of their pieces there. So the fact is, 
that you get added value right. from the K2K brand. So that it's not just about wearing a piece and telling a story on Monday and Tuesday, but it's also the added value we get from being able to utilize these creative works of art. And I'm sure on Friday, the 21st of September, that's right. next, Friday, next Friday, when the yeah, the band will be launched, the, the, um, the segments will be launched at the All Saints Anglican Church, that's in Queen's Park, Western Port of Spain. Okay. So that one of the things why they joined together and will be participating and having the launch at the All Saints Anglican Church, as I mentioned, it goes well in keeping with the theme and I the see, utilization of the theme of encouraging prayer and encouraging these values of love, faith, hope, light, and joy oh, I to be part of it. I was going to say um, there's a little bit of a taboo behind doing a launch presentation at the church, but considering it's such a positive exactly. message that they're exactly. pushing and you know exactly. the the whole virtue of it you know mm -hmm. is, is in alignment with mm -hmm. you know the principles of the church and, and things like not that not to so mention that the all saints anglican church i was just informed by uh, mrs alfia norman they their stained glass because when you look i think the image was taken at the all saints anglican church's right. stained glass and i think that may have been damaged in the recent in the earthquake some time ago yes. so that part proceeds of the actual launch will go towards the restoration of what would have been damaged at that church and so their stained glass was put in by the Germans about almost 170 something years you ago. So, a lot so of when history exactly, in there. so there's a lot of history, and that is why it's always important to tie in the history into the art to create something that is more than just a wearable piece of mass for Monday and Tuesday. Right. So when you wear that costume or when you wear that um, ethos, because that is essentially what it is, you are part of a story. Yes, excellent. And what is the experience on your road like with K2K from your experience? Well, boy, it has been um, quite an amazing experience in that when you've done one of the costs, first of all, when people look at it, they say, oh, my God, isn't it hard and hot and all that? But <laughs> it's not. It's very comfortable and okay. it's very well structured. For me, it is, it is really a fantastic experience when you hear little children actually saying, boy, mama, this is mass. <laughs> I mean, you, you hear it in calypsos and yeah, so on, but when you right. actually hear people saying it, it's yes. something very different. The only thing is that every second someone wants to stop to take an, a, picture take a picture because it's right. so different. But it really is something that I believe people need to experience, people who are interested in what it feels like to be part of a story and to be part of something larger than themselves. Okay, so um, in regards to registration for the band, when, how does one do that? How does one? Well, we, uh, we could take the launch first. So the launch, right. as I mentioned, is next Friday at 9 p.m. at the All Saints Anglican Church. And anyone interested in tickets for the launch, they can contact the K2K showroom. That is located on Oleander Row, Victoria Gardens, Diego Martin. Right. And they can call them at 637-1668. Could you repeat that one more time? 637-1668 or 767-9655. Or you can just visit the showroom, as I mentioned, on in Victoria o Oleander Gardens. Road. Oleander Road, Victoria Gardens. Or, of course... Um, at the All Saints Church, 627-7004. Okay, well, thank you, Mrs. Griffith. You can call thank me Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate You're that. welcome. <laughs> thank you for all that useful information, and thank you for imparting to us what K2K is all about and the message that they put. Um, now we'll go over to a break. We'll be back in a few. We have much more ahead, so stay with us. <laughs> 